Hey guys, what's up? In the bunker here. So guys, in today's video, we are going to discuss Discord screen share, how to do features and more revealed. Discord is a text and voice messaging software that enables users to create large or small chat servers for gaming, social or business groups. Most people are unaware that it also provides a complete video call and screen sharing option. Up to nine other users on a given server can have live video chats while sharing desktops using the platform. There are no additional apps to install as this feature is embedded right into the primary Discord client. Giving the Discord app the appropriate permissions and tapping start is all it takes to get going with screen sharing. The steps to enable screen sharing on Discord are change video or camera settings, select the server to share the screen, choose the specific screen to share, adjust video quality and go live. Keep watching to know the detailed steps and why this is important as well. Learn how to share a screen on Discord and why it's helpful. To begin, users must ensure that their video and audio gear is correctly configured on the app client. To start a video chat and share their screen, users can connect any compatible webcam and microphone they like. Settings and Permissions Step 1. In the lower left-hand corner of the Discord screen, go to Settings, the cog icon directly to the right of the username. Step 2. Select Voice and Video from the App Settings menu. Step 3. Select the video camera from the drop-down menu in the Video Settings section. To the right users will see the option to test video, which will ensure that everything is working properly. Step 4. If users are using the Discord web app instead of the independent client, they might have to activate camera access from the pop-up to activate the devices. Confirm access by selecting the Allow option. This allows the software to connect the microphone and camera to the phone or PC to confirm that everything is functioning correctly. Sharing screen Users may share their screen inside a video call once everything is ready and good to go. They should then follow the steps below. Step 1. Users must be a member of the platform's server to participate. They can invite friends or tap on the invitation link. Step 2. Enter the server's voice channel. Text and voice channels are located on the left. Multiple channels are possible on the platform servers. Select the voice channel to share the screen. Users will now be added to that voice channel. Step 3. When joining, the screen button will appear in the bottom left corner of the window. Click on it to see the pop-up menu and select the app or screen you want to stream to the server. Step 4. Before users stream to the server, they will notice extra settings to alter once they choose an application or screen to share. Users can then choose the live stream's quality in FPS. To stream at a greater resolution in FPA, they will need Nitro subscription. Step 5. After that, users can finally press the Go Live button. Conclusion By introducing users to communities to connect with people from diverse backgrounds through a mutual interest, social networks like Discord have built online communities that make quarantine relatively bearable. It differs from common social media sites where followers and likes are irrelevant. Everyone is valued equally, and everyone's voice can be heard and seen thanks to this new feature. It started out as a site for gamers and has expanded into so much more. Its attempts to bring communities together are precisely what is required to offer a feeling of social contact. Then it'll bring us to this page, where we can still change our screen. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can that really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video. Hope you liked the video. Do hit the like button down there. Comment down your views and do share with more of your friends. See ya. Take care.